Welcome back to the Fortune High Snow Polo World Cup 2015 here at Tianjin Golden Metropolitan Polo Club. Well, we see in the first chakra, well, one fell, well, two almost fell down to the ground, but it's really dangerous here now with the slippy uh, snow ground here with the warmer temperature here. So here's the start of the second chakra here. So we're underway, Brazilian possession. We've got Linz now on the ball, having a good run. He's got a lot of pressure on him from Jacinto Croto. Pushed up, Linz again on the near side, cuts the ball off, comes in front of him. Croto to clear. Oh, can he keep it? Back end of that horse coming out again. So they're, they're going for it, these Argentine boys. Called off by Echeves. Echeves with a big pass up. Now, big run now from Gaguli for Argentina. That was, a, that was, that was just... That was just doable there from uh, from Garcia, who's come in across. They've got the goal. They've got it. You have to say that the Argentina boys are really brave because they're going full speed with that sleepy ground. Yeah, there. absolutely. They, they've done. They tied things up at two apiece now on the board. Right, we just see Croto coming in, plays it on the near side, under the neck, straight in front of the goal mouth, and there's Greg Gugli with a great tail shot straight in. Fantastic play. This is what the Argentines are famous for. So Echeves now. Rosa for Brazil running along the boards. Pressure from Gaguli. He's giving him a bit of a tick at the moment. Garcia. Garcia picks up the pass. Croto sitting on him. Garcia, he's gone past. He's gone past. Clearance there from Brazil. Echeves getting the near side back in. So Gaguli runs over the top of it. Taken now by Rosa. Big whistle goes. Foul against Brazil. Penalty in favor of Argentina. It's going to go to the third man. We've got both Ben Turner and Fergus Gould out there. And uh, they're looking for cl clarification on, on who should get awarded this one. The Brazilian fell innocent because the Argentina players basically just steps into the lane and turn to the other side. So, looks like now they reverse the call and the penalty is awarded now so to So, it Brazil. looks like they've gone to the third man. He sort of said, no, I don't think the initial call was accurate. So, it's going to go in favor of the Brazilians. So, we'll be looking to edge ahead here with the conversion of this penalty. There's, the wind seems to have died down, so as long as they can hit straight, they should be able to put this through. So Linz to take the number three five goaler, winds up, there's the hit, and it runs just wide to the right post. So it's defended because it was a hit from the spot rather than uh, by giving a penalty three, which is a 30-yard penalty. So we've got Jacinto Croto for Argentina here. Looks up, turns it, winds up, there's the hit. What a cracking shot that was. Straight up field, right in front of his number one, uh, Greg Uli. Big clearance from Linz from Brazil. Croto on the ball again, playing that next shot. Echeves for Argentina on the near side now. Rosa putting pressure on him. They're all standing on the ball, appealing for a foul. No whistles gone. Good run here. Oh, I think Greg Gulli just rode into Rosa's swing there, so they're going to award a penalty here. So, yeah, a bit of a foul hook. Penalty to Brazil. I hope that Gregulli is okay here because I think he was just being hit by the melon. So we're almost halfway through the second chucker. We're tied up at two apiece on the board with a penalty, a, third, a penalty three now for Brazil. So. Guilherme Linz looking to convert to put it up to 
It looks like Reguli now is still checking to see if he's okay after being hit by the Brazilian swing. So Lin's to take. It's gone wide, it's gone just to the right of the post. Good wind up, good strike, but it's centered just off. So you can see Greguli's there taking a bit of a bump on the arm, but he, he did ride into the swing. So we've just heard another whistle. We're going to get a, a foul awarded to Argentina. So penalty awarded to Argentina here. Provided they don't reverse the call like they did before. to hit for Argentina. So Rosso tries to get the uh, tries to get the deflection there, but it doesn't. It's good. Argentina get the goal, edging one goal ahead now, three to two, midway through the second chucker. Good connection from Crotto. This guy knows how to hit a ball. Oh, oh, Argentina on approach here. A bit of a mistake. Oh, it's gone wide. Don't know what happened with the Brazilian defence there, but that was a, that was a shocking mistake to let Greg Uli come in on approach. So here we go. Ball comes in. Oh, just stolen by Echevez. And he goes to the shop. That's unlucky. Oh, it hits the post. <laughs> Argentina was shot, hits the pony. Rosa now for Brazil, having a good run. Cleared by Echevez. <laughs> Someone screaming for the pass. It lands just in front of Geguli. And it's run over the back line. One minute and 33 seconds left in the second chakra. Scoring Argentina, lead by one goal, 3 2. As you can just hear the Argentine cheer squad in the form of most likely the Argentine band getting quite excited about the one goal advantage they have at the moment. It could be short-lived. We've still got one minute 30 left in the second chucker and two full chuckers to play. So we've just seen a horse change there from Grigoli. Linz has been told to play. What a cracking shot that was. That got sent into the stratosphere. Good attempt in the inside back from Crotto. Picked up by Greguli. Greguli turning the play. Plays it out to the right. Called off by Echeves. Echeves with the 
the slower pass. I don't think he meant to get that one. Koguli trying to play on the near side, but gets taken over by Linz. Now Rosa, Rosa with the open backhand. Garcia, Garcia from Brazil on approach to the ball. Checks up, maintains control. Crotto's on him, called off by Rosa. Rosa gets through. Oh, nicely done from Rosa, but does get hooked by Crotto. There's Echevez, both of them swinging and miss hitting. Now Garcia, looking to turn the play, turns it nicely on the right, stolen by Echevez, but he gets called out on a foul. So we get a 30-yard penalty awarded here uh, to Brazil. So you just see Echevez coming in, crossing the right away, and they've awarded a penalty three here. So Brazil most likely evening things up to three apiece. But let's see how they hit the ball. Guilherme Linz will be hitting this penalty. Walks up, winds up for a full swing, connects. It's good, it's in, there's the tie-up. So three balls apiece, 30 seconds left in the second chucker. Nice wind up there, good, good swing. He's got a hold of that quite nicely there. It hasn't taken too much of a deflection, so 30 seconds. Oh, run here from Argentina. Greguli checks up. Linz with a clearance. Echeves for Argentina along the boards now. Pressure from Garcia. There's the open backhand. Nicely done, but he puts it straight in front of Linz for Brazil, who changes the course of the line and takes it over. There's the next shot, puts it through, doesn't get the connection. Crotto with a clearance, and we just hear a whistle there. Two seconds left in the chucker. Okay. It was one goal lead after the first, but now the score is tied up three apiece.